circles and holes. That is what everybody is talking about. It's all over the media. I just made that up because I didn't know how else to introduce circles and holes. So we're going to talk about circles and holes. But we're going to talk about how to make them cleanly. That can really add an extra element to your cosplay if you wanted some holes and circles. Circles and holes. So we're talking about today. Let's do it. Today we're going to talk about making perfect circles or holes in your phone. In a previous video we've shown you how you can make good hole detail, but we're going to go a step further and punch these holes out and do things with them. And to make these holes I used a piece of copper pipe that I just went in, I don't know, quarter inch into the foam, then hit that with the heat gun and that helped that spread open and then you can see it better in your detail. But we're going to actually cut these pieces out. The first thing I'm going to do is take my piece of pipe, run my blade along the inside, just turning it, to sharpen that edge. Since this metal is tougher than this metal, you can use it to sharpen that up slightly. I have a couple different diameters of pipe here. I do not know the measurements except big, medium, and small. <laughs> That's the sizes that I'm aware of. And they're in varying, varying lengths. Here a piece of foam in there. There it is. Come out of there, Mr. Foam. It's from an old piece. Make sure that edge is nice and sharp. Okay. Now since this is such a small piece and that's all I had, it's almost impossible to get it to go all the way through this foam. It's a little thicker than the foam I usually use. I picked this up at a yard sale and uh, probably 10 pieces of it and it's thicker but I don't like it as much. But it was two bucks for a bunch of it so I went ahead and picked it up. It's really good for examples. So we'll just go ahead and give it a shot anyway, see what happens. Now you just hold, I, I put some electrical tape just so the ends aren't, you know, cutting on you and you just put it on your foam and you twist and push and continue until you get to the table below which you can see pop through right there and you pull it back out and voila you have a perfect circle we're going to take this piece back out and there's the little piece we've got left. Now you can use that for things later. If you want detail pieces, you can use it for bolt heads, anything. So keep them if you want. And the next thing we're going to do is the medium. Have not broken through yet, so I'm going to continue. Okay, now I have. Too large. Now this is a great technique if you have a piece that has some detail or some holes cut in it and you want to make sure all the holes are consistent. You want them all to be the same size, the same shape. You don't want any of your circles to be cut out by hand and they just don't look straight. So there you go, you have three different size holes. You can be cleaned up a little bit on the back side, it'll make them look better. But pretty much, it's pretty clean all the way through, minus what's broken back in here. But with the little sanding, that you won't even see it. Now another thing you can do with these, is you can put this back through, pop it up a little bit, hit it with some hot glue in the back, now you got a button. you got a button on a piece of armor. You do the same thing, the other way, by recessing it, now you have a protrusion, three-dimensional thing. It looks like there's a, something underneath, almost like there's a layer on top of a layer here. There's a lot of cool effects you can do with making circles. 
using pipes. So go out and get you some different size copper pipes. Um, I've gone over around the edges with my rotary tool to kind of thin it down and then you sharpen it with your razor and it'll cut right through your phone. So there you go. Protrusions, buttons, circles, whatever you need. It can be done with a little bit of foam, a little bit of patience, and some pipes. There you go. Stay crafty. Hey there, all you beautiful creative people out there in the internet land. Before you run off and create your very own awesome cosplay armor and props, click that subscribe button if you don't mind, so you'll always be updated when new videos are released. Also, if you need more tips and tricks and tutorials, you can always stop by www.ccosplay.com for much more information and articles that are released on a regular schedule. And last but not least, stay crafty, my friends.